If we're going to allow things to vote together, why stop at just trees? Why not allow a neural network to vote next to a tree, to vote next to a perceptron, to vote next to Cassie's opinion, to vote next to your opinion all together and have all these opinions vote. I can change the weights on how much each vote counts. Of course, Cassie's vote gets 95% of the weight and so forth. That is called an ensemble. What ensembles are really great at is covering one another's faults, if you will. So think about it like this. If you wanted to do your decision making by one awesome benevolent tyrant who is really, really good and on the whole better than everyone else in your organization at decision making, that would be fine unless there's an Achilles heel, a fatal flaw. On the whole, really good, but there's a blind spot and if that blind spot is hit, that is critical failure. Well then, Maybe you want to have a backup decision maker who is not that much worse at all the other parts, but covers this critical failure. Pretty good at that part and has a different flaw. Well, then we can have them balance one another out and hopefully where they are both decent, there's not that much of a performance degradation. So on the whole, this feels like a better system. The flip side, though, is when you start composing all these various methods together, the engineering and maintenance and upkeep and reliability issues become a nightmare. So a, an example, a famous example, is the Netflix prize. It was a million dollar prize that Netflix gave for making a cool recommendation algorithm. And the solution there was a crazy big ensemble model. And of course, Netflix uh, nobly paid up because that did win the competition, gave the best performance, or they didn't implement that thing because that was not gonna work sanely in production, just too much going on.